Hello everyone, Tech Enthusiast here with another tutorial. In this one, I'll show you how to get Windows 10 Taskbar and Start menu on Windows 11 completely for free. And you may be wondering if this enables to never combine Taskbar buttons and the simple answer is yes. Yes, it does. If you are new here, don't forget to smash the subscribe and like button. And of course, you can always support me on Coffee by clicking the link in pinned comment down below the video. And with all that out of the way, let's move on to tutorial. So to get Windows 10 start menu and the taskbar, we are going to use the tool on GitHub called Explorer Patcher. And I'll also link it down below in video description. And this project also aims to enhance the working environment on Windows. So once you are on their GitHub page, make sure that you navigate to the releases tab. And here you should see which is the latest Windows 11 supported version. So the current one is 22,708. And as you can see, this program is also updated quite regularly. And hopefully it will also be updated in the future because of the major upcoming releases of Windows 11. And with that said, let's scroll down a bit on this web page. And here you would see the assets and make sure that you click EP underscore setup dot exe file and here the download should start make sure that you click on it and uh, then you will click yes on the admin prompt and this should restart the file explorer itself and as you can see we already have windows 10 taskbar but for the start menu it's still on the windows 11 so to change that we are going to right click on the taskbar go to the properties and here navigate to the start menu and current start menu style is Windows 11 by default. Make sure that here select Windows 10 and then restart file explorer. And if I click the start menu once again, you can see that we also have the Windows 10 start menu, but we also need to change the location of the start menu because currently it's on the center. So make sure that you go on the taskbar settings, scroll down taskbar behaviors and make sure that you set taskbar alignment to the left and this should fix the start menu position. And as you can see, we have the working Windows 10 start menu. And here, if you go to the properties of this Explorer Patcher, here we have a lot more options. So for example, you have the primary taskbar location on the screen. You can also change that. For example, we can put it on the left, right, or on the top. I will put it to the left and I will just restart file explorer so you can see how it looks like. So as you see, we are still on the Windows 11 and this feature absolutely works just fine. And here we also have some other tweaks that we can also change. So for example, show search button, show task view button. So these are those two buttons. The thing I also usually change is star button style. So currently set on Windows 10 by default, we can change it to the Windows 11. And as you can see, we have the Windows 11 start button. Primary taskbar alignment is at edge screen. So you can also put the icons on the center or with the start menu as well. The taskbar icon size, you can also change that. So you can put it to the small and to the large. And then we have the system tray icons, for example. So we have skin taskbar and tray pop-up menus, center tray icon pop-up menus, and so and so on. We can also change the other settings. So like when clicking a system icon in the system tray. So these are this icons on the bottom right. So we can change that currently set on network Windows 10 flyout, but we can select Windows 11 flyout. Sound, we can select on the Windows 10 and Windows 7 flyout. Clock, we can select to the Windows 11. Battery, we can select Windows 10 by default. And the language switcher is already on to be on Windows 11 by default. And we can also go to the file explorer and here you can change a few settings. So the most uh, interesting ones are to apply Mika effect on this area. So let file explore the site is by default, but I also recommend title bar, comment bar and navigation bar. So if I enable that and restart file explorer once again and open up the file explorer, you should see that we have the Mika effect also on the title bar, which I think it looks quite nice. And then we also have the start menu. As I told you before, we set it to the Windows 10 one. And here you can change other options. So app list, you can display, hide or disabled even. So you can disable that. We can click yes here. And this should disable the app list completely on the start menu. And we only have the tiles here. 
So here we also have display mode is currently set on default. We have start menu or full screen start. So if you want to, you can also have the full screen start. We have also the Windows switcher, which is currently set on Windows 10. So the current style is Windows 11. So it looks like that if I press Alt plus tab, but we can also change that to something else. So we have Windows NT, as you can see, it looks something like that. Uh, then we have the weather so if you want to you can also enable the weather widget in the taskbar and personally what i also like to do is to go to the downloads folder and here we can just delete the ep setup file and then if we restart the computer all the settings that we just applied with this program should still be applied even if we deleted the exe file so here we are we are having the windows 10 start menu the taskbar and every single thing works just fine and uh, with that said, I think this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, you can smash the subscribe and like button and you can also go on the coffee and make the small tip on there. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See you guys soon in the next video like this one and peace out.